Glenn, we'll start with you. What a classic match we've just witnessed on the Lakeside stage. Yeah, I've just played my uh, best friend. I, I said in my VT earlier that I'm playing Jamie Hughes tonight. I'm going to try and use all that experience that I've had before with Jamie. But, oh, man, he was just so good. And I tried to remain calm for 95% of that game. And then I think a big 115 finish. And Jim Saney missed a couple of darts there to go for each or something. It was such a high-intensity game. And, uh, oh, man, I, I love the guy to bits, but... You know, I'm in the final now and I've got to focus on you know, going forward, but he's, he's an amazing guy and an amazing dart player. And Jim, for, for much of that game you were chasing, but that opening set against the darts, something special. Yeah, I was always going to chase. I'm playing the best player we have in the BDO, so I'm always going to chase. My plan right from the start was if I can just get it to like five or that was my dream and, and then just go in the last set. I'm not ever going to get in control at the moment so my plan was just try and stick with him and get the doubles but I know there was a few sets out I missed, missed a few doubles to win the set and uh, you can't do that against him. And there were some, some big checkouts in there Glenn obviously winning it with the one two three and the uh, the 110 checkout was pivotal as well I think. 110 at one nil down and he, he just came out and he smashed me all over but I know there was 115 average but hey big brown if you're watching this what happened to me after that, I am genuinely, genuinely sorry. You were, you were the perfect supporter through that, and I am just an idiot sometimes. And uh, in that moment, I was an idiot. And I think it, uh, Most of the game, he was an idiot, to be honest. <laughs> and I think the crowd played a huge part. I mean, the lakeside was absolutely packed today, and, yeah. and the, the crowd are just fantastic here, aren't they? Yeah, I was exhausted today. I didn't get to bed till like half past two with doing the media and everything. And then I was up at five, so excited, but... They just, they drag you on so much, so, man, that probably would have been 6-0 any other day. Yeah. And, of course, it's Scott in the final for you, Glenn. Scott obviously coming through against Unterbuck, and maybe not the greatest game for them, but Jim put you under a lot of pressure, and that could do you well in the final. Yeah, horses for courses, and uh, Scott Wade, just, he never surprises me. I admire what he does, um, but as much as I love Jim, whereas it's different with Scott, I feel like he's a real... Uh, competitor against me and uh, I'll play with a bit more anger, a bit more desire um, but he's a two-time champion, he's, he's just so good when it comes to Lakeside and someone asked me for an outsider uh, you know, when I started the tournament and I said how can you not look at Scott Waite, it was something ridiculous like 22, 25 to 1 or something, he's absolutely fantastic player but you know what, I've just played my hardest game there. Okay, thank you very much for this.